Welcome back to another YouTube video. It's your tutor, Disha. Today, I'll be continuing the CSEC July Biology 2021 Paper 2, specifically Question 5. And the first part says, Red and white blood cells are important components of human blood. Use clearly labeled diagrams to illustrate the structure of a red blood cell and the structure of a white blood cell. And this is worth six marks. So here's my representation of the red blood cell. And I labeled here its cell membrane. Remember, it lacks a nucleus. On the other hand here, I have a white blood cell. White blood cells, they have an irregular shape as depicted here. My irregular shaped white blood cell with the cell membrane. Importantly, the white blood cells, they have a nucleus. So ensure you represent that as well as other organelles, for example, the mitochondria. And apart from annotating your diagrams to secure the full six marks, you want to ensure that you have a title as well as your scale bars, right? Part B says, explain how any two features of a red blood cell ensures that it is suitable for its major function in the human body. And this is worth four marks. Here we can talk about the presence of a special protein. And this special protein is called hemoglobin. And hemoglobin is responsible for the transport of oxygen as well as carbon dioxide. But hemoglobin is specially suited for its function, yes. It contains the heme group, which can carry up to four oxygen molecules. And that makes the red blood cells super cool for their functions in the body. Secondly, you can talk about the fact that the red blood cells do not have a nucleus at maturity and that gives it an advantage yes it gives it more space to house the hemoglobin molecule so that more molecules of oxygen will be transported around the body and then the last part of this question says the abo blood grouping system is determined by antigens on the surface of red blood cells an individual who has one parent with the heterozygous genotype for blood group A and the other parent with the heterozygous genotype for blood group B may have a blood group phenotype that is different from either parent. With the aid of a genetic diagram, explain how an individual may have a blood type that is different from either parent. So to show how an individual may have a blood type that is different from the parent, I did this genetic diagram here and crossing the two heterozygous genotypes, the A and the B, and here are my results here. I have the following genotypes as seen here with their respective probabilities. 